Well, the, the alcohol, the jet fuel program, looks like it's going to be a key player in helping the Navy meet its 2016 and 2020 goals in terms of uh, using 50% of its fuels based on alternative energy sources. And that's because if you look at alcohol production in the United States around the world, there are hundreds of billions of gallons of it produced. The feedstocks are here, the production facilities are here, and the NOCWD technology that's focused on converting alcohols to jet fuels is going to play right into this ability to create large quantities. This is critical to the Navy to meet its goal. The alcohol to jet fuel project gets its biomass from cellulose and hemicellulose material. So basically we could take the waste product from newspapers, we could take the waste product from the Camelina fuel program. We could take the stalks, the stems, the things that nobody else wants and make uh, our fuel out of it. This is probably one of the, the most unique things about this fuel process. We have this alcohol to jet is we first generate a gasoline. Then we do some chemistry and we generate our oligomeric fuel. It's now a good diesel and a jet fuel. So you can take a, a food crop, grow it, take the biomass that you really don't have any use for, at least as far as food, and you can convert biofuel using the alcohol to jet fuel process. As we make renewable fuels, we try and make them ultra performance fuels so they can actually outperform what's out there today. And for the jet fuel, it is actually a drop-in replacement. Um, it's going to burn cleaner than traditional jet fuels and uh, has some of the same density properties as what's being used right now. So literally, you could just drop it into the tank. It's going to work exactly the same as petroleum-derived fuels, which is really a requirement for, uh, for military fuels. Yeah, I could go into more technical matters, but we make a really good fuel.